hi everyone. Um, said, I'm Natasha Gordon, I'm from Emerald Health Group, and we're a small biotech company that's at the Trinity Enterprise Campus. So what I thought I'd talk to you about today is how I came into science and what I'm doing now. As you can tell, I'm not from Ireland. I'm from a small country called New Zealand on the other side of the world. Most known for our All Blacks, our extreme sports, and lots of sheep. And we have lots of sheep. We have like 15 sheep to every person. So lots of sheep there. And it's like, why did I want to become a scientist? In this area, we had lots of outdoor sports, a lot of outdoor things. Well, for me, I was really into Indiana Jones. I thought he was really cool. I thought, how exciting you get to do all this, something different every day. And I thought, that's what I want to do with my life, something different every day. Wasn't going to be an adventure archaeologist, but decided to go into science. Really liked chemistry at school, liked joining things together, often caused explosions. That was fine. But by the end of high school, sort of decided I liked microbiology. Went into Auckland University, where I did my Bachelor of Science. And I was lucky enough to be selected into a brand new honours program where we got to do a whole year of research, which is probably what you would normally do with a master's. And it sort of sets you up to do a PhD. And for my honours program, I was working with a bacteria called Staphylococcus aureus. And it's a methicillin-resistant bacteria, so it's um, basically antibiotics don't work on it, well, methicillin um, antibiotics, and it's known as a superbug. You've probably seen it in the papers lately. It's been happening in hospitals. People have been infected with it, and they form these little circle-like structures. So for my honours project, I got to work on this and little proteins that it produces. And I looked at how it interacted with the immune system, and I thought that seemed like really cool and really exciting. It was actually applicable because you were trying to figure out how you became infected. And I was able to carry on that with my PhD. And my PhD was very exciting. I got to publish a lot of different papers. And being in New Zealand, when we traveled to conferences, it was always a long way away. I got to go to America. I got to go to Europe, which was great. And that eventually led me here because science being such an international subject, you can, you can go anywhere. So I, was over, I went to Maynooth University. And at Maynooth University, I was working on fungus. So I changed from bacteria across to fungus. And I was working on a species called Aspergillus fumigatus. And it's a fungus that is everywhere around us. It'll be on the ceilings, it's on the stairs, it's on chairs, it's everywhere. You're breathing in right now. The problem is that if you're immune compromised, like if you have AIDS or cancer, or you've just had a, a, trans, a transplant, um, your immune system doesn't fight it quite as well. So I went into developing a new test of how we can, um, how we can diagnose this. How can we look at people who are immune compromised and say, you are infected with aspergillus? Because currently, the tests are very irregular and people are often, um, unfortunately, dying from these causes. So during my uh, postdoc, I actually developed tests and diagnostic testing, and that's going into trials at the moment. And so that's led me to EMID Health Group. So I'm doing, I'm the head of research and development there. And so I also do diagnostic testing and I'm developing new tests for the market. Okay, EMID Health Group is a company where we look at validations, commercialization and certification. And so what this means is we have people come to us with vacuum cleaners and air cleaners and uh, bedding and we validate claims for them. So we work in an area of allergen here. So we look at people with, do people have asthma here? People with asthma and hay fever? Yeah. We basically look at um, how we can protect you and how to stop you having asthma and hay fever. So we validate uh, people's claims for that. Then we take those products to the commercial setting and help them sell them. And then we certify them. So there's some big certification areas like the Asthma and Allergy Foundation in America and Canada. And so we certify products for them. And so if you buy a product, it says, yes, this is hypoallergenic. So that we've actually tested that, and we've said that, yes, that's correct. We're also into aerobiology, where um, we sort of a new term, one of the new buzzwords at the moment. Um, it's looking at how clean air is in the home and environments and how we can help to purify that. And also biomedical science and research. So companies come to us and they say, we want to become allergy friendly and we've got this product and we help them 
figure out ways to either improve their product or um, so we sort of push them in the right direction with their research. And how do we do this? So we, we sort of quite a, we have quite a different approach. We have clinicians who are actually immunologists, occupational hygienists, and we have a team of scientists. So we have uh, a mycologist, a virologist, a bacteriologist, and then we work on allergy and immunology as well. Our main facilities that set us apart from everyone else is the fact that we have um, what we call environmental chambers. So we're able to take all the products that we have on the bench and put them in a chamber and make them up in a real life setting. So we can have someone come in from a hotel and we'll set up a hotel room and test a new air conditioner out. So if someone can say, yes, my air conditioner works really well in this environment. It takes allergen out of this um, environment. It takes dust out of the environment. And then they can go to the hotels and say, look, I've done this test, um, please buy it from me. And we also have uh, bed bug chambers, which is this little guy over here, and a dust mites. Dust mites would be our main area of allergen because it's, dust mites cause, um, are the most prevalent cause of indoor allergy. And um, they, as I said, result in lots of different reactions like your asthmas, your hay fever, you, have, you can get rashes. And there's 11 different types of species. We're the main ones that we work on, and like science, you like to have uh, big words. So it's Dermatophagoides, Forensis, and uh, Tyronesis. And so they're mostly found in Europe, Australasia, and America. So those are the two species that we would focus on. And we have this chamber here, as you can see in the picture, where we do all our tests. So we would test soft toys to make sure they're hyperallergenic. We would test bed bedding, as I said, to make sure that they're allergen proof. So what do I do in my research and development? So for me, I'm, as I said before, looking at diagnostic testing. So what is diagnostic testing? That's taking a test and saying, how can we figure out if someone's infected or if there's an environment that has allergen or if the air is bad, how do we make that better? So to look at that, we look in the gaps in the market. So I look around and go, what sort of testing's already out there and how can we improve that? And then you develop the components. So you start from the start of maybe using a bacteria or the dust mite to get a protein. And then you, you move forward to say, how can we detect that protein in the environment? And then you have mergings of disciplines, because I can only do the science. But if, for a lot of the technology, you have software developers come in, you have engineers come in to make a nice little device to put it in. And um, so what I find really exciting about my job is it's always changing. No, no day is ever the same, and it's always different. I get to work with a whole lot of different people and uh, try and make something that helps improve people's health, which I think is really good and really applicable to everyone. And uh, that's our team at Emmet Health Group. So thank you very much. Any questions? can't certify them. Yeah. Basically you would go back to the company and say that this isn't hyperallergenic, you can't put that claim on it. So they'll either go, how can we improve it? It might be the colour's wrong, because sometimes the colourings cause allergies in people, or the dust mites get stuck in into the little grooves and that. So we say, we tell them how they could improve it, they take it back, they bring it back to us to test again. But if it says hyperallergenic and it's got been certified, it's because it is. I'll be around for a bit longer if anyone wants to talk later. Cheers, thanks.